What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 video. We're delving back into some Warhammer 40k universe lore with some more units based from that franchise. With some of our Cadian Guardsmen or some of our just basic infantry guardsmen units. With their, uh, their LAS rifles and bayonets affixed to them. And these guardsmen are going to be doing just that. Guarding this tiny little remote village in, out in the middle of the desert. The foes that are coming to devour them are some prehistoric foes. Um, and it is the uh, king of the dinos himself, Mr. T-Rex. So it's a pretty much dead even battle with 30,000 against a little over 30,000. But we got 30,000 bloodthirsty human hungry dinosaurs in the form of some big old t-rexes we have our last little bastion of hope for the imperial guardsmen of humanity we have some some more in this little kind of more fortified walled castle village back here but this time they have some backing of some death core um, recruits as well some of the death cores of krieg they're all kind of mixed in here so about mm, 15 or -ish so thousand of the the guardsmen and the the krieg units in here so it'll be kind of a double pronged attack um they might even kind of some of these t-rexes over here might branch off or over here and <laughs> take off to the castle first but we'll see if both of these little outposts can uh, survive the t-rex onslaught so let's begin this prehistoric versus 40k and see how it goes Of course, you know, the one downside with the, the Guardsmen being a modded unit, they don't have their traditional, like, futuristic laser guns or plasma guns or anything else like that. It's all just <laughs> basic uh, assault rifle style, style fire. Hopefully one of these days, either the, uh, the developers themselves or some modders will be able to put some more futuristic or different style projectiles in the game. That'd be pretty cool to see. You know, the sea of T-Rexes have officially surrounded the, the guardsmen up here. They're definitely dropping pretty fast, too. <laughs> oh. See, they're, uh... <laughs> they're munching on them, though. They're tossing some of these guardsmen in the air like ragdolls. Well, I imagine even a dying T-Rex as it falls on you would be uh, pretty lethal as well. <laughs> oh, we got one twerking up here on the rooftop. He's emoting on him. <laughs> oh, look at that. I called that. Some of them kind of br uh, branched off. Oh, that guy got launched. They're branching off into the castle already. They gotta hopefully funnel through this one little giant gate right there. Unless some are kind of clipping through the, uh, the castle walls. But I feel like this will be a little more hard, easy to defend from the, uh, it's like the sea of moving hot dogs trying to funnel into the castle. Oh, there, I guess there are more, more entr entryways, but. I don't think the uh, the T-Rex is going to make much headway with the numbers they brought here. Let's check in on our outpost up here that's getting completely surrounded at this point. Oof. Starting to not look so hot for these guys up front here.
There are still a ton of dinosaurs, and they are just amassing real quickly in this front outpost. I would want to be on the most tippity top outpost or building <laughs> to get as far away from those snapping jaws as possible. And I like this guy right here. Feels like they've killed a crap ton of these T Rex, but because of how big they are, it just looks like there's so stinking many of them left. Nope. <laughs> One got in the roof there. They're figuring out. Oof. Chomp. <laughs> oh, he's teabagging him. He's strutting on him again. Are there any? Are there even any guys on the ground left? Are they? <laughs> I think they're all but swallowed up. This is the T-Rex trying to figure out how to get to the get to the rooftops over here now. As the the bulk of the army of T-Rexes is getting bored, moving on to the castle now. You know, they're slowly chipping away at these guys and the oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, they're getting demolished now. Go check in with our castle defense. I feel like these T Rexes might start. Oh. It's like they're starting to kind of make it in. Start climbing over the bodies of their fallen T-Rex comrades there. That'd be terrifying to see a head of a T-Rex just clipping through your castle defenses like that. Oh, geez. There are still a ton of them left. We've all but <laughs> wiped out this little village. The twerking T-Rex army. Like a flowing river of dino hot dogs. And they're all bunched together like that. Looked like that. I thought they got up there for a second. No, I guess there are a few more. more of those guys left good grief it just looks like there's so many oh yep they're starting to kind of clamber up onto the roofs now this is where it'll get interesting to see how they <laughs> adapt to their environment Is there a back entrance? Nope. So far, the castle defense is holding out pretty strong. Once the entire army shifts over here, like I said, we might see some bodies which kind of pile up over the actual walls themselves. Hope looks like they're all moving on from here. They finally... Looks like they finally managed to get the rooftops cleaned up. It's a lot of dead dinos. Let's get a little aerial view going on up here.
Yeah, that'd be a pretty horrific sight to see that from uh, from above your uh, your homestead. Just a casual ten thousand T Rexes surrounding your little castle. Now it looks like they're making slowly but surely making their way farther into this castle. Kind of surprised the AI is not like clipping through or clipping up over the walls. That's a very common thing in this game. Well, they'll just <laughs> somehow climb on top of walls and buildings. So I'm really shocked and surprised not doing it here. I feel like once these T-Rexes can gain a foothold and actually start coming through in numbers, they'll start doing some damage. All right now, they just don't seem to be doing enough to get themselves past the gate, the entryway. Well, their bodies are pretty much almost blocking the gates entirely. How these T-Rexes are even making it through all the corpses of their, uh, their prehistoric pals is beyond me. Just a mountain of T-Rex meat, though. They're definitely slowing down on coming in from this gate. I definitely would have thought they would have made more of a foothold, even with the three uh, three gates to kind of push through. I figured they would have made a much more powerful sur powerful surge through these openings. But I guess the uh, firepower of the the guardsmen and the uh, the Kriegs is just too much. All right, we're gonna spice things up now. We're gonna make it so these last few guys can actually have more of an interesting fight. They're going to go try to uh, <laughs> collect their fallen comrades from their uh, outpost up front there. So we're going to make one push through the front gate from the side gate. I think there's more than enough of these soldiers that they can push through these T-Rexes like nothing. gonna go like Lord of the Rings uh, two towers fashion and we're gonna charge out right into the front gates to meet them if we can even see him that is <laughs> they're gonna be pushing through a mountain of dead T-Rex corpses oh in the world <laughs> it's like a few stragglers got <laughs> kind of chased off out in the deserts and picked off and eaten I don't know how these guys got all the way out here But unlucky for them. Oh. Egon.
It's like some of the T-Rexes are wising up now and they're trying to flank from this on this exposed side now. Like there's some reinforcements that you can <laughs> scarcely make out through the, uh, the pile of bodies here. As another uh, guardsman gets flung across the battlefield. can't tell if this bush is exceeding or not. I just see a bunch of uh, roaring T-Rexes and then, oh, <laughs> the occasional body getting flung from the entryway there. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, these guys are going to get picked off real quick. Maybe. I don't know what in the world these guys were thinking. Should have stuck with your, uh, your main pack there. I know, they're picking them off. See if they can survive this, this rear flank now. About 15 or so T-Rexes come charging down at you. I'd be, uh, oh, now you're getting flanked on both sides. Oh yeah. Oh, they're about to be done in now. <laughs> they're getting sandwiched from both sides. I don't know why these guys decided to come all the way out here and just disperse. Poor dinos, you almost feel sorry for them. Well, it looks like these guys finally cleared out this side. They're circling around all the way outside of the castle now, the safety of their walls to finally mop up the rest of these T-Rexes. And mop them up indeed, they do. Man, what a... <laughs> started out a very one-sided battle with those guys out here in the front outpost, but... Very quickly turned to the, uh, the wayside once they came to this castle. They had no footing or no ground to gain a hold of and just... Were getting completely slaughtered at the gates. And these are the, the last three. As they chased down this poor hapless soldier on his own. Can he survive in time? Will he make it? Will his reinforcements save his life? Keep backpedaling. Keep backpedaling. You got this. He's, he's dodging death with every footstep. Two down. Or one down, two to go. One left. Can he survive? He does. He makes it. Who's left? Where are they at? Are they down here still in this first outpost? Ah, they were. Were they stuck in the telemetry of the map or some buildings? As the remnants of the castle will pour out of their, uh, their safety net to come clean up the threat of the prehistoric foes. And down they go. The absolute sea of 
bloody covered T-Rexes fill the battlefield. And I think that was only 30,000, but it looked like an absolute six-figure gargantuan number of them. The absolute <laughs> mountaintop of bodies that pile out in the front of these castle walls is just insane. I truly figured they, they would have pushed in more and put up a lot more of a fight, but I guess there was just enough to hold this castle down and keep them from coming in at all. Once again, proving the superiority of uh, modern firepower and projectile-based weapons in this game. Just doing the most. So we zoom out from the carnage. I want to thank you all again so much for watching and sticking tuned to the end. Stay tuned for more videos, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.